Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in and clicking on my video. So today I'm going to give you a tour of Shamar's nursery. I had so much fun creating this uh, little safe haven for him. A lot of the decor you're going to see I got from Dollar Tree. Um, that's why I have Dollar Tree DIY hack on there. You can find a lot of good de decor and um, nice gems at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. So go in there and make it rain. Do not be afraid. There, There's some good stuff at Dollar Tree, I'm trying to tell you. Um, other things I may DIY myself, so I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of some of the things that you can do in your nurseries um, that are kind of make it more sentimental and uh, meaningful for you and your little one. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is what you see when you first walk in. I'll just give you guys a quick view of what the room looks like. And let's get started. I'm going to start on this side. So, right here pretty much is his gallery wall. And pretty much everything on here, I had something to do with uh, creating it, except for three pictures. So, the last picture here, the Be Brave, the I Am Very Busy, um, the... Uh, picture frame right next to it the blessed and the be strong and brave those all came from Dollar Tree um, The arrow decal came from Dollar Tree as well everything else I uh, DIY'd and created so I made the boomerangs I made the small triangulars triangulars <laughs> triangulars <laughs> in the uh, middle of the pictures um, this is his big sister. I created this love sign. This was a sign I found at Dollar Tree. Um, and I just put it um, on top of a little dark navy blue to match. I love the arrows. It just kind of helped me bring in the whole little theme. It was kind of like a tribally theme, um, real culture oriented like us. But I wanted to be really simple. I didn't want to be too kitty. I didn't want to be too gender neutral. I wanted to know that it was a boy. Um, and I didn't want to be too luxurious. Um, I wanted my nursery to be very practical. So here you have the Hebraic Aleph Beth. Um, we're going to be teaching him Hebrew and English. Um, I am very busy. I love that. And he is already very busy, my one month old. Um, this was given to us right here. I'm going to come up on it a little bit. This was given to us right here. Um, we first moved to Memphis from one of my neighbors as a home welcoming um, present, and I loved it. It's pretty much like scriptures. So every day I can read him different scriptures when I'm in here nursing him. I'm going to read this one to you guys because you never know. This might be your word for the day. This is 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, and the new is here. And I specifically put that there um, for my son since he's a new creature here. I need to change it. But I just love telling him that one. Um, this is from Dollar Tree. It just says, be strong and be brave. It has the feathers. Um, this I made, this uh, picture frame. I just printed off the Hebrew word, lacha. It means resurrection or new beginnings. Of course, my son is new. And I created the picture frame with the fabric that you're going to see in corporate in the room. And this I got it from Dollar Tree. It just says blessed. I made the banner myself. Um, also with a lot of the fabric you're going to see in corporate in the room. And I actually DIY the S for Shamar. That's his name. This is his rocker. And this is a quick little ottoman. Um, that actually is storage that has my breast pump. Um, stuff in there some bottles of water for when I'm nursing him in here and things like that that's just a quick little heater because it gets kind of chilly in here um, this is a decal I got from Dollar Tree it just says let your dreams take flight I love that and um, these clouds are actually night lights so at nighttime it'll light up I'll try to uh, do a video at night um, to put at the end of this video hopefully i can do it and you guys can see it um those are some cards that i got from my baby shower in la and there's a book um right there i love that book it just has a little sun so i thought it was cute to put it behind the clouds i diy the bookshelf the cloud bookshelf and also the two little cloud decals on the ends i diy that um his glider i actually got off of facebook marketplace for ten dollars 
I love it. Um, I love that it was still kind of rustic and antique looking. So I didn't want to paint it. At first I was, but I, I like the the definition and the texture of it. It has like a story. So I wanted to keep it like that. I actually made the pillow slip covers, the full pillows, the slip covers. I made the armrest that you see here. I made that myself. If you guys are interested in how to make those, let me know. I'll definitely link the video. That's just a burp cloth. I made the pillow. Um, and that's just a quick little muslin blanket. Um, unless he gets like cold while I'm nursing him. Um, I wanted to bring this out. This is a quick little chair for like anybody that wants to just come and hang out with me. I wanted to bring this. I made sure I put it right there. This was made, uh, custom made for Shamar. Um, that's his name on there, embroidered by one of my Facebook friends. Her name is Rosalie, and it's a nursing cover. So I thought it was so cute. I love the fringes. It incorporates my culture um, and where I'm from. We're fringe-wearing people. And this is just so cute. It's Paw Patrol. I love that. Thank you, Rosalie. So I got these curtains. I hope you can see them because the lighting, of course, it acts weird. I got those curtains from the thrift store actually this is the first thing i got for his room and they were brand new and it was two panels for four dollars and 35 cents and i loved them i took them i did not care they were brand new i love the material let me try to come up on it so you can see the pattern it's the same pattern that you see all over the room i just put one here since it's a small window and i took the other panel and created different things in the room just to kind of tie in i just love that kind of tribally blues um that's a scripture up there i don't know if you can see it but it says bless are the pure in heart matthews 5. that's just a decal put this is a basket um my sister laney had bought me a really beautiful uh baby shower gift of all kind of different things the video is posted as well on my youtube you can go and look at my um haul and i just took the basket and just put a whole bunch of little blankets in there so if my husband wanted to grab a blanket he knows where everything is he can just come grab a blanket this is just a regular trash can i got from family dollar i was going to get a diaper genie diaper pail all the different ones um but that was six dollars and it does just as good it holds a lot of diapers there's no smell in here at all and it locks up so i got that for six bucks and thought it was cool so i love 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 his changing station slash his little wardrobe is so freaking cute i actually got the dresser from one of my neighbors for free and i took all the drawers out i painted the bottom drawer white on the outside and corporate in the room as you can see a lot of um, I put the last drawer underneath for storage, but I wanted like a small wardrobe for like if my husband wanted to take care of him for me and um, get him changed and washed and stuff. He has like an option to just go here instead of in the closet. I'm going to show you guys the closet. So pretty much I just took all the um, drawers out and I put this bar I found at the thrift store for 50 cents in there and just hung up some clothes. So this is like um, all his... Well, these two right here are just newborn, but all this is like three, zero to three months. This is his Hebrew outfit for Passover. So cute. I can't wait to see him in his little fringes. Um, these are different sizes. They still have the tags on them. I have to get those washed and um, put out right or whatever. So I just kind of got those off to the side. You'll see why I have it right here instead of in the closet soon. And here I just have some um sleepers for his pajamas a couple swaddles is in here um a couple of his changing pad slips and pretty much is a quick dollar tree hack you can go to dollar tree and they have um the uh nighttime pads for like elders when they have loose bladders they just put it on their bed at night and i pretty much took those um and i cut them in half and i used them for um on top of his changing station so i don't have to always change the changing station and it's just easy for like those uh golden showers poop blowouts and stuff like that i just put that on there and they were only a dollar you can actually buy the changing station um disposable slip covers but they cost a lot more and these are more practical they're a dollar why not um, so check that out if you guys new mommies want a quick hack. I have some extra wipes down here boogie wipes I have his uh, Q-tips some nursing pads and extra diapers back there 
This rug is actually, I made this. Um, it actually goes with the pillow on the glider. I just got uh, some pillowcases from Target that were on sale for $4. And I made a rug out of one. They were like the long body pillows. I made a rug out of one. And I took the rest and made the pillow that you see over there. So I actually made this changing station. Um, I made the changing... I don't know what to call this. I made the pad and I made this as well that that the pad goes into so he doesn't fall over or anything like that. And I just put a few berries in here for like um, to catch pee, things like that. And so he don't hit the rail on the side. Um, got some wipes here. This is a jar of all his binkies, some hand sanitizer, some Johnson's baby powder. I have his... Um, diaper bags and some coconut oil I don't even use that my husband used that more than my baby I don't even put that on him um in here I have some baby Gannix teething gel pads I got those for what a dollar fifty at Kroger so guys um utilize your Kroger clearance out I'm telling you, you can find a whole bunch of baby stuff this is some baby tooth oil I got that for two dollars some lotion um I bought this off of wish for a dollar I want to show that I love this um, this is a, a thermometer, but it's a pacifier. So I thought that was really neat. I only got it for $1 on wish.com. I have, uh, a baby toothbrush. I needed this cause he fights me with the, um, little cloth I'll be trying to use. So I got this for his tongue to get the little milk off his tongue. I got some Medela lanolin cream. I have my own homemade, um, Nipple cream, if you guys want to know. It's nipple butter. If you want to know how to make that, I'll put the video up. Let me know in the comments below. I only put it up if you guys want to know how to make your own. Um, here are some of his, like, um, toiletries, brushes, thermometers, files, nasal, squeezy thingy, whatever. These are some extra burp cloths and the trash liners for his diaper trash can. Just in case we have some spit-ups, I have the burp cloths here. This is from my sister, McCall. I love, love, love this onesie. It's so cute. It went with the room, so I went ahead and hung it up. It says Brave, and it has a little hat to match. I got these bins from Dollar Tree, and I just mounted these two up here. Um, I mounted this one top. This has his diapers, some PPTPs, and these are the uh, changing pad uh, little DIY hacks I told you about. And I got this rack from Dollar Tree as well. I got these two pictures from Dollar Tree. Enjoy the little things. Walk by faith and not by sight. I got that decal from Dollar Tree as well. And I love this. I got this from Dollar Tree. So at nighttime, I can just flick this on. And I don't have to use the big light to keep him kind of drowsy while I'm changing him. So I got that for a dollar. I thought that was cool. And I just have this mirror here for a dollar um, for him. So he likes to look into the mirror. He's already looking into the mirror. He's only a month old, so it's crazy. So... Here is my staple piece of the room. This is the wall. I love the decal. It's giving me Flintstones, Bam Bam, and Pebbles vibe. I'm loving, loving, love it. And guess how much I pay for it? One dollar. Yes, one dollar. Ladies, one dollar. So I was on Pinterest. I'm a Pinterest fanatic. Um, I'll leave my Pinterest below. If you guys just want to check out what I like to look at. And I seen the decals, and I love the decals. But when I went online... They were a lot more expensive than a dollar. I seen some for $13, some for $20. I seen some for like $40. And I'm like, okay, this is a baby's nursery. And to be honest, this nursery is really for me more than him because he could care less about this. He's like intrigued by it, but he's not even utilizing it like that. This is really my safe haven. So I wanted to save as much money as I could while he was little. So I went to Dollar Tree and I bought some... Um, duct tape they have a lot of different types of duct tape at dollar tree i love it and i just cut them in triangles and i plastered them on the wall and i didn't want it to be uniform and neat i like it how it's kind of wild um and kind of just um you know off uh i don't know how to put it but it's just kind of like wild and just kind of unorganized and unorthodox i love that it just gives it more personality um and I have a few of them just kind of plastered in that's like this little material, this little sequency 
type of deal if you can see it. So we don't have a crib yet. Um, we were planning on moving from this house, so we wasn't trying to get too many big pieces so we don't have to travel with it. Um, plus, he's not even using it. But my mom did get him uh, a Halo bassinet glider, and I love it. I'm trying to hurry up. I think I hear him in there crying. I love it. He loves it. It goes up and down, and I put it by my bed at night. Here's his boppy. Um, a little teether. He likes to just look at it. And I have this quilt from... Um, my OB, uh, life coach, paternity coach, her mother actually made this quilt for me and a few other ladies got some. So I thought that I love this. They're my favorite colors. He loves it. And I just kind of sit it right there. Um, I made that little growth charts having fun with it. I just took some poster board, cut it up, um, added some wood, like, um, some wood, like contact paper and just added it on there. Okay, so this is my little memory area here. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the room. So down here we have um, his rocking swing chair that um, my mom's good friend and client Tia got me when I was at my baby shower in Los Angeles at my mom's house. Um, here's his diaper bag right there. I got that off of Wish.com for like $17. And what I love the most about that um, diaper bag is it opens up and it can be a changing, um, like a little station or like a little co-sleeping bassinet for like when we're traveling. So here is um, this vase that Eric had got me when I delivered Shamar. And it had some beautiful yellow roses in it. It had a balloon and a card. And it was so pretty. It was my push gift um, that he brought up to the hospital. So I just kept the vase. Um, and I put some faux flowers in there. And this is actually the greenery that came with uh, the original flowers that was in there. But they died off because... That was about a month ago. So here's his little bookshelf. Um, it just has a couple little books in there. We don't have a lot of books yet. We're still building. He's still little. So um, I'm enjoying just reading these little ones to him. And you know, you kind of got to do repetition of the same book for just a little while so they can get used to um, communicating with you or whatever. Oh, he's in there about to start crying. Here's his little milestone stickers. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. Let me go get my baby. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to get my son. Okay, so where'd I leave off? Oh, yeah. So, um, right here are some little crochet booty shoes that my best friend Kirsten made him. They're so freaking cute. He can finally fit them, so I can't wait to put these on him. Look, they look like little converses. Adorable. These are just some little table toppers from my baby shower. Sorry, I'm holding him. <laughs> um, one of my good friends and clients, April, got this for me down here in Memphis. Um, he can't fit it yet, so I just kind of had it on display. Um, this is a picture that I got as a housewarming gift from one of um, our neighbors when we first moved to Memphis three years ago. And I thought that was just so cute. It kind of goes with the theme and the little baby. His mother-in-law got him his first piggy bank, and we're already trying to fill it up. Um, so these two pictures here, I got the cherish every moment and the love every memory from Dollar Tree. And let me pull that up a little higher so you can see. And this is just kind of like my little memory board. Eventually I'll get a shadow box, um, and put it in there. But right now, since I'm still building, I kind of wanted it open so I can just tack stuff on as I go. And then eventually I'll put it in the shadow box. But up top, um... <laughs> Come on, Shamar. <laughs> Up top, you have Daddy, Mommy, and Baby's um, little wristbands from the hospital. Of course, Burnett, our last name. We have the 10 weeks, 19 weeks, and 37 week um, ultrasounds on there. His little footprints when he first was born. Look how cute and little those are. Can you see them? Let me see. I'm trying to get the light. Look how cute and little his little feet was. So adorable. Um, I have the It's a Boy sign. That was from one of my banners at my baby shower, and I just kept it. Um, I have my pregnancy stick. Um, this little quote came with the uh, footprints from the hospital. Um, there's his little hospital hat. I just kept that up there. And eventually, I'm going to put his little hospital shirt up there, too. I just haven't got around to it. 
Um, I mounted these. I got these mounts from Dollar Tree. Um, and I mounted that up there just for like hanging his towel. And then I have like this little diaper bag, a uh, gift bag I got from my Target registry. Um, just hanging up there. That's like what I grab when I'm just running to the store and I don't have to get too much stuff. But maybe like some diapers and some wipes. I just throw it in there. And then this is from my, uh, banner for my baby shower as well. And I just put it right there to just kind of hide the mounting. And so here's his closet. We did not paint in here because we're renting this house. And like I said earlier, we were planning on moving. Um, so we just didn't paint. Ouch. Anyway. Okay. So here's his closet. I enjoyed organizing this. And we labeled everything that way it's easy to access stuff. So up top on the left, you have all his, um, toiletries and, um, his bob uh, bobble <laughs> his baby washes and stuff i have some extra wipes and boogie wipes up there um we got a, a couple packs of huggy some pampers i have some infamil even though he's exclusively breastfed i just you just never know so i have some infamil and this is actually his um mesh liner to the crib <clears throat> So this is a bookshelf that I had in this beauty room. This was my beauty room before I turned into his nursery. So this is a bookshelf I had in there and I just kept it in here to help me kind of organize. So I just kind of um, took like some little cardboard cause I had some dividers, but they couldn't fit. So I didn't feel like buying anything. Just took some cardboard and separated it and divided it. So everything's labeled. So you have his zero to three months over here. Um, you have some of his three months here. I have like shirts on one side and pants on the other. Um, this whole second shelf is three to six months. Um, then you have six and six to nine months, 12 to 18 months. Down here at the bottom, I just have like all his baby towels and stuff. Um, and then this is like extra burp cloths, um, receiving blankets, and a few swaddle blankets is in here too. Um, we got an extra box of diapers here. There's his baby tub. I made this uh, shelf as well. I mounted it up there. And um, I put his shoes up there. Look at his cute little shoes. So adorable. Um, and here's just his little laundry bag. I have to wash, so do not talk about me. I am washing this week. This is just like two weeks worth of stuff. Their loads are so little. It's like, why wash them every week? And I don't wash his clothes with my clothes. So I just kind of let it get big enough for like a load. And then I'll go in and wash um, everything. We was going to get a hamper, but I already had some of these bags. So I just went ahead and, and used the bags and just left it as it is. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And then up here, um, I have all his newborn onesies and some of his... Um, sweatpants in this uh little basket this has like bottles teethers bottle cleaners um there we go this one has socks mittens bibs and also it has like hats and i just kind of got it like organized in there and i got all these bins and i got those two bins down there from dollar tree so yeah and yeah there we go so one last view in the room and yeah so there we go <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah i'm sorry i almost forgot so my best friend brianna had got me these blankets from target um they were part of my gift registry and um I just love this one because it's really soft. I love that it has like the mountain themes. It kind of goes along with like the arrows and the, you know, the little cultural, um, tribal kind of little peaks of things I have in here. And I just use this for like his tummy time mat right now. Um, and he loves it. It's really soft. So I just kind of have it right here. So when after I'm done nursing him, you know, we'll sit on the rocker for a little bit and then we'll go and do a little tummy time. So. I just kind of have that there and yeah so there we go <laughs>
little man wants to eat but that was it um again i'm glad that you were here if you have any questions or comments uh definitely post it below i would love to sit there and chit chat with you guys and reply um i'll try to link everything that i talked about in the description box if i got it from a store or anything like that okay pumpkin okay baby we about to go we about to eat other than that, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Be my best friend. Go check out my other videos. I love you all. Have a good one. Shalom, shalom.